what's going on everyone thank you so much for watching today my name is savannah and if you're new here welcome thanks so much for stopping by we are taking a look at a brand new little zoo game that i am super excited to get my hands on it's called let's build a zoo and it's currently in early beta version so i got access to the beta on friday and just now i'm getting to sit down and take a look at this so we are going to you can see i kind of played around already just to see what it was about uh, but we're going to do a new game and pick our little avatar i'm going to pick this little one because i myself am very white and i think we'll just call it um i don't know simply zoo i guess this shows you how terrible I am at creating uh, names for things, <laughs> especially on the spot. So, in this little game, you can see we have this lovely little pixel style art, and it's just kind of a basic zoo game where we're going to be able to adopt some animals, make some very simple enclosures, but what really excites and interests me about this one, it's got a whole morality concept to it, where the actions that you take give you like good points or evil points, and it kind of plays uh, plays out in how you're able to play the game. I don't think we're able to do too much with that in the early beta version, um, but the thing the other thing that really excites me is the splicing of the animals. We can make hybrid animals so we can see what mischief we can get up to. Anyway, to start here, we have Kathleen with a new task to visit the management office. Hi, you can come to the management's office to check out your tasks. I have some things for you to do. Okie dokie, Kathleen. So this is our management office up there. Let's go to our tasks. Oh, we completed one. All kinds of requests end up here and I know you will want to keep them uh, keep on top of them. Try to view new tasks now. Beautiful. So new task. Every zoo needs animals, but before you can take a delivery of an animal, you need to build an enclosure. Perfect. So we have to build an enclosure. So if we go up here to our little hammer and we can see eventually we're going to get a whole bunch of different types of enclosures. Right now we just have the grass one. All right. So let's go ahead and put our little enclosure right here right here i think is perfect and then we'll do a little gate down here at the bottom beautiful great now that we have an enclosure we can start the real business of finding animals to make our zoo one step closer to becoming the best zoo on planet earth that's ambitious kathleen uh timbo australian zoo so new task i have a gift for you come visit me at my zoo and i can tell you about it so what are you waiting for find the australian zoo on the world map i bet he's gonna give us rabbits <laughs> it's because that's the first animal we always get so we have timbo over here at the australian zoo is going to give us a male and female rabbit perfect let's go ahead and get these guys bring them over, return to the zoo, and then we're gonna go ahead and put them in our new little grass enclosure. And let's see, new task, open for business. So now we have to open the zoo so people can come in. Great, thank you. First little bit is kind of just showing you what you can and can't do. Inbound, we have our little rabbits. The animals come in these little cute containers that get lowered from the uh, uh, helicopter there. I mean, it's a massive little helicopter to bring in two teeny little rabbits, but you can see the lid's gonna come off. And we have two little honk. <laughs> Not quite sure that that is the sound that the rabbit makes, but sure, we'll go with honk. Okay, let's go ahead and get them some items in their enclosure. So if we go ahead and add over here, let's grab a water dish. This little blue here is like the area that has access to water. So we wanna make sure that we put the dish inside that little access there, uh, or radius rather. And then let's see, do we, we don't have any enrichment items yet. No, we don't because we have to put down a research center and I'm pretty sure it's going to have us do that in just a minute. If we back out of here, let's go ahead and decorate just a bit because the guests are going to start to walk around basically everywhere that they want to. So I want to put down some path just so that it looks like, uh, looks like they're actually walking on what they're supposed to be walking on. Let's go ahead and put all this down and we'll bring it over here and then we will go ahead. Oh, what's this? Uh, research grant. So building a research building. Hi, I represent a zoological foundation for research and I'm here to offer you a grant. If you build a research building before the end of the day, I will fund you for the next 14 days. How generous, two weeks worth of research. Awesome. So that's what we're gonna build right now. And that will allow us to unlock some things. So if we go over here, go to research building, let's go ahead. 
I kind of want to put it like right here just so I know it's technically like a staff building thing but then people can walk by it and see it and we can see all the fun stuff that we're doing let's go back over here let's see do we have any research points now no so this is our little research bar so this is gonna start to go up we get some research points here and then we can basically spend them on this little screen here so you can see uh, you know, decal pack, tall pine trees, animal enrichment pack, the small ball, we got a slushy shop, and then we got a potted plants thing. So we'll be able to unlock these things and then it will branch off into more things as we go through. So right now we'll just let our research go up. Let's go back to building here because we want to make our zoo look nice and pretty. Go ahead and put that there. Continue this off on the other side. With the way this zoo is set up, there's like no choice other than to have this be uh, symmetrical. So that's what we're gonna go with right now. Uh, that way it's nice and symmetrical and pretty. Let's go ahead and put in another animal enclosure because I'll show you guys. We can go back to that zoo map and there are other animals available. That is in no way symmetrical. What, what, what is, that is a failure. That is an absolute failure. So let's go over here and edit the enclosure here. Uh, let's go ahead and destroy it. Put a new one. We have to go up one more all the way out and over. There we go. Now that should be symmetrical. Yes. Great. Okay. <laughs> Good job, Savannah. The simplest things. Uh, so if we go over to the map here, we have this little green flashy. <gasps> Ooh, look. Let's get this rabbit because it's different colors. And if we put that rabbit in the zoo and it breeds with the white ones, maybe we can get some other colors of rabbit. So gonna go in there in one day we will have a new rabbit and then this will change I believe like new animals show up I don't really want well actually we don't have a brown rabbit huh so let's go ahead and get that one too um it'll change and it'll have more animals available and then we can see like this one here if we have a baby rabbit we can trade it for two horses uh if over here Ooh, capybaras. If we have one rabbit, we can trade it for two capybaras. That's probably gonna be our next one. And then what's over here? Uh, oh, that's you. We took your rabbits already, so now you have nothing. All right, let's go ahead back to our little, um, we got this task complete, finished task. Yes, thank you. Reward, $250 per day for the next 14 days. That's fantastic. Awesome. Let's go ahead and go back to our, we got some more pathing to lay down so people kind of know where they're going. Kind of box this one in here, even though they kind of go everywhere, every which way that they want to. Let's go ahead and, and uh, put some flooring up here. This will kind of be the staff area. I believe there's one more little staff building, like a storage room I think we have to build. Um, but let's go ahead and put that down and then we can kind of, we can do that. Perfect. All right. Let's go to decor. No, let's go ahead and put down a, what is this? This is a gift stand. Great. Hire that person to run that. Let's go ahead and get a little snack machine and maybe some benches around. Ooh, nighttime benches. Of course we need trash cans, right? We all know from Planet Zoo that the guests are disgusting. Franny. Hi there, I can't believe a zoo has opened up here in town. I have a small observation though. Perhaps you might want to feed your animals. <laughs> That's a good idea, Franny, thank you. Hunger leads to starvation and starvation leads to death. And I don't want dead animals stinking up the neighborhood. Uh, so build a storeroom. Well, thanks for being so considerate, Franny, because you don't want the, uh, you don't want the area to stink. Um, let's see, where is the rest restroom? Here's storeroom. Okay, so let's build this back over here with our staff stuff. Great. Hire Muhammad. Thank you. And oh, another thing that we can do, let's get out of this, is if we click on these little things here and we go to appearance, we can change the appearance. Oh, look, there's a bunny one. <laughs> uh, oh no, welfare report C. Great to see a new zoo. Seems like you have a few things to solve. I will just give you some advice for now, but next time I won't be so generous. Your animals need more time to be fed and raised. Okay, your animals are not being treated very well. Please try and do better. Oh, oh, why are they not being treated well? Anyway, let's go ahead and change that. They've got everything they could possibly need for a rabbit. Look at that, water. And then we just solved the food problem, so that should be fine. Let's change the appearance of this one. There we go. And then we can also change the appearance of our uh, 
front part here, our entrance. Oh, <laughs> front part, it's called an entrance. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead, let's see, how often does this update? Oh, ooh, snakes. Nothing new in here, bummer. Okay, well, we'll keep an eye on that. Let's go back, let's continue decorating. Let's go ahead and move these, I think, to right here and right here. And then I believe we can get more of these little plants as well. Uh, let's go over to, yes, little ferns, make everything look beautiful, awesome. And actually, in fact, what we can do, let's destroy these and grab a little light post. Uh, where were they? Here, no, here, where the light post symbol is, duh. Perfect. And then we can add some more little light posts around the place so that we have a very pretty zoo. Let's go ahead and add another little enclosure. I just kind of want to build them right now just so that way when animals, you know, come available, we have them uh, to put in the zoo. Let's go ahead and do maybe a, s yeah, we can bring this all the way back to the edge. There we go. Perfect. Because then what we can do is on the other side, do the same same kind of thing. Oh, it's not symmetrical because of the that that. Okay, that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and get a path here and bring this over so people can walk over and check out whatever the heck we're gonna put in this little one here. Not quite sure yet. Uh, we want the capybaras in this one because they are a hot commodity, hot ticket item, right? Okay, let's get out of here. Let's see. Ooh, incoming. Inbound, we have a helicopter coming to drop off some very colorful rabbits. Let's see. Oh, look, and then they got some food. That's perfect. Excuse me while I take a drink of my uh, drink. I have some fruit punch here, so. <laughs> Let's see. Hiccup. Yay, little brown and white bunny. And then here's our little brown bunny. So now we have four. Awesome. Come on, come out of the box. Yay! I love how they just hop around. Um, the bunnies, it makes a lot of sense, meep, uh, but with the other animals, they still hop like this and they look absolutely adorable. It's actually pretty funny. Um, oh, we got some research points. So let's go to our research uh, building. Let's go ahead and do this one. Oh my gosh, that's dramatic. Goodness, uh, let's see, let's go this way, because I believe this way, then we get the trampoline. Yes, that's what we want. We want the trampoline so our animals can bounce around. <laughs> so we got slushy shop and a ball now. So if we click on the enclosure here, we should be able to add an object and go to enrichment. There we go, now they have a little ball. Perfect. Let's go ahead and check out the slushy, slushy thing. Uh, where is it? Slushy shop. Oh, this is rather large. Um, what is all this? Is that trash? Is that really trash? I said we were gonna add trash cans, huh? And then I never did. Serves me right. Let's see, where are the trash cans? Oh, saving the game. It saves every day, by the way. Linda, Mayor. I would love to extend our warmest welcome to you. The people of the city love having a zoo here and I have personally cleared the land around your zoo for development. So if you want to buy more land to expand, we are happy to sell it to you. Well, thank you very much, Linda. Perfect. Awesome. We will take you up on that as soon as I figure out where, oh, there they were, where trash cans are. Oh, look at these ones, little giraffe bins. Let's do these ones. One there, we'll put one here. We'll just put one everywhere because you guys clearly need it. Um, let's put one here and one here as well. And then did I put down, I did put down a couple benches, but where did they go? Let's put down, let's put down a couple more, maybe here and here and here and here. And then we can do a little sign as well. We can do a little zoo map like there and there, perfect getting a nice little pretty zoo. Let's go ahead and see, it's a new day. New animals? <gasps> What's this? Oh, we can trade our brown rabbit for horses. Hmm, not yet. I wanna hold off. Oh, brown rabbit for capybara. Yes, absolutely. So let's go ahead, Otis or Bubbles. Um, Let's go ahead and keep the adult. Bubbles, sorry, it's your turn. Goodbye, you're going to a wonderful new zoo and we have, <gasps> Capybara's incoming. Sweet. 
Let's go ahead and see. Can we add? We can. Okay, let's get it all ready for them. Let's go ahead and add some water. Oh no, the water doesn't reach. Um, Let's see, actually, I didn't try this before, but can we, this is the water pipe here. We can move it. That's awesome. Okay, now it reaches everything. That solves that. Perfect. Um, How do I get out of, oh, there we go. Wanted that to go away. Let's go ahead and add some enrichment items. Let's go ahead and give them a blue ball. Perfect. Now it's all ready for them for when they arrive. We have one day to wait. So that is, uh, that is perfect. So this is the new land. We can buy this land. How much is it? $600 and we have 14. It's about half of what we have. Go for it. Cool. Now we have a bigger zoo. Awesome. And what we can do, in fact, we can put some, uh, what is this called? Pathing down and we'll kind of extend this over. We'll leave one row for like plants, another row for trash cans, and then we'll do the path coming up this way, I think is a perfect way to go about it. If there ever was a perfect way to run a little pixel zoo, I think this is it. Um, let's go to here again and grab some more benches. Let's see here and here and go to the lamps, making everything nice and beautiful there and there. Trash cans again because our guests need them. And then let's go to trees and let's get, should we get some ferns? Let's do ferns here and here. Let's do maybe, oops, I didn't mean to put that, that uh, fern down there. We'll put that there and then we'll move it. And then what if we did some flowers in the middle, like so, just for some color, just for some color. Let's go ahead and move this because I put it in the wrong spot. There we go. Move this because I put that over there. Great. Oh, and then we need, uh, we need a sign just to make it nice and even. Let's go ahead and perfect, just like that. Great. Awesome. All right, cool. Then we can add another enclosure over there. All right, let's see what we got going on. Let's go up here, tasks. We finished this task, great. Ooh, $1,500, not bad. New task, since I invested in this business, you have various performance targets to hit in order to unlock more capital. Reach 100 total customers and I will release some additional funding. Awesome, we'll work on that. Let's see, what else here? Tasks, completed this one, great. You've completed all the tasks for that person. Franny, did we make you happy? We absolutely did. Perfect, this person has a new task for you. Your zoo is going to become a rat infested den of disgust unless you hire someone to tidy up. Franny does not sugarcoat things. <gasps> oh no, it's Joe, the exotic animal dealer. Uh, I work for an organization that deals in exotic animal trading. You are just the kind of person we want to work with. Just don't ask any questions. So firstly, I want to sell you something at a very good price just to help build trust between us. Buy an animal from me and we may, we can see how things go. You shady character you are, Joe. I don't know how much I want you hanging around in my zoo here, but maybe we'll have to check it out. Um, okay, hiring somebody. So where is the, yeah, staff and then plus a staff and then let's go ahead and post for a job and see if we can't find someone here because we have tons of trash all over and like Franny said, it's going to become a rat infested place of disgust or whatever it was that she said so harshly. <laughs> we don't want that to happen. So let's see, oh, come on animals, we want, we want more animals. That little green one needs to flash around. Um, let's see, should we, should we get horses? Maybe I guess we should get horses. Let's go ahead. Let's, sorry, uh, sorry, Otis. Well, yeah, sorry, Otis. Okay, goodbye. We're gonna get some horses. Great, thank you. Return to the zoo. We can put our horses up here. Perfect. It's a bit of a small enclosure for the horses, but that's okay. Uh, <gasps> our capybars are coming. Look at that. This giant arrow tells us that the, the capybaras are, are inbound. Let's see, our giant little capybaras. This should be the two brown ones, I think. <laughs> Yay, capybaras! <laughs> Look at them bounce around. They're so cute. 
I love this art style, this little pixelated art style. It's it's so simple, but it's it's so cute. So cute. Where's our other capybara? Didn't we? Or we didn't get another capybara, huh? That's when I was playing before. When I played before, this little green one lit up and I was able to get like a, a like a gray colored capybara. But that's okay. We just have two capybaras for now. Let's go ahead and add another enclosure just so we have room for more animals. We'll make this one a slightly bigger enclosure, I think. Like so. And then maybe if we get access to um, to some bigger animals, we can put them there. Let's go ahead and get the pathing down so that it can look all nice and beautiful. I forget, you have to click and hold to drag all this around. I don't wanna cover all the edges because then um, then it doesn't leave this like gap of sand like that right there. We don't want that. Perfect. Let's go ahead and put this around. Beautiful, just like that. Let's actually do it double so that there's enough room for people to walk around. People do just kind of walk around in the uh, in the blank spaces, though. I don't know where you're going. Oh, that's Joe. Why is he walking around in my zoo? I thought he was just there if I wanted him. He's gonna walk around actually in my zoo. Oh, I didn't notice this. They actually go in the little slushy shop and they come out with a slushy. Yeah, that's exactly what's all over my floor is these little slushies, you disgustings. Oh, but he threw it away. Wow, you drank that really fast. He came right out of there, sucked it down, and then threw it away in that trash can. Talk about brain freeze. All right. Let's... I, can't, I want new animals. <laughs> I'm so impatient. New animals, please. <gasps> Wolves! Okay, so that's snakes. How do we get snakes? So we need three capybaras for what looks like hippos. And then... One horse for two snakes. Okay, so that's gonna be our way to wolves. We're gonna get a horse, which are in, inbound or incoming in a day or something like that, right? Yeah, one day, then we can get snakes, then we can get uh, wolves. Awesome. So that's gonna be a really interesting part of this game is like the, the trading and like I said, the hybrid animals eventually when we do get to that. Let's put a little fountain, make it a little, a little pretty right there. Um, get to trading and making the hybrid animals and things like that will be our way to kind of unlock new and interesting animals. Let's go ahead. Maybe all around like so. No, I don't like how that looks. Let's make it all brick. It's not a big enough area to make it all all a wood thing. Well, I guess that looks okay. We'll leave that. Let's see. More stuff. That's cute. So they can take the little pictures with it. What's that? Just a red banner. Some more signs. I guess we could put a little zoo map up there. If you make it that far away from the entrance, a little map to tell you where you're going. Uh, nothing in there so far. Oh, we have seven research points, though. I wasn't really paying attention. Let's go ahead and see research. Um, trampoline, that's what we've been waiting for. Uh, zoo shelter, let's go ahead and unlock that one because that seems like a pretty good idea. We have four points left. A peacock bush, sure. Oh no, that one's six, darn it, we can't get that one yet. What's this? Uh, pavement, we have four points so we can get pavement, we can get potted plants, or we can get tall pine trees. Let's go ahead and do pavement, I think. I think that one would be nice. Okay, so now we have a trampoline. <gasps> Potter, what do you want? New task, animal utopia. You know, I really love seeing lots of animals. It's really a pity that you don't see many here. You should get more of them. We're trying, Potter, get off our back. Look at this, we're trying. Oh, now we've got a pig. A gray pig. Should we do pig? Let's do pig. And then maybe we can put pig in, we'll put pig in this little one and then uh, with our horses, right? Perfect. Um, what did I just unlock that I was excited? Oh, the trampoline, of course. Let's go ahead and give our capybaras a trampoline. Let's see, let's put it over here in this corner, I think. Ah, look at them go. <laughs> let's get out of this. Look at that. Little animals on a trampoline. <laughs> wow, you're really going for it there, aren't you? Perfect. Well, let's speed up time a little. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna make yourself dizzy. <laughs> Speeding up. Look at him go. Uh, speed up time just a little bit. Perfect. There is our horses. That's what we were waiting for. Oh, we didn't give them anything. We need to make sure we give them water. Water. And what about add enrichment items for you? We don't have any decoration. Enrichment items for you. Let's see. How about, do you like a trampoline? It's a bit small. Let's go ahead and give them a ball. There we go. 
Perfect. Now we have little horses and then there'll be a pig in there. And what we can do, let's go, remember we have a horse now. Couldn't we trade one for snakes? Where were the snakes? Snakes, that's capybara. There we go, view trade. Great, let's go ahead and select trade. Perfect, and now we can put the, this is a bit big for the snakes, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and use that. Now we have snakes. We only have one horse and then there'll be a pig in there. That'll be a little bit better because we'll have a pig and a horse together. They'll be best friends. Best, best friends. Okay, let's speed up time just a bit here because we want more research points. More people are coming in, making lots of money here. Let's go ahead and build another enclosure while we wait. We'll build this one fairly large here. Ta-da! Like so. Great. Let's go ahead and put the gate there. Make sure we get some path down so I know we can't block that off. Decorate all of this. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Great. Oh, night time. Business, five days. Lifetime profit, negative $2,700. Well, we're building an empire, so we're gonna have to spend some money to make some money. <gasps> what is this? You have a horse and I have an artistic eye. You know what a black horse with white stripes looks like? That's right, a zebra. I can get your customers thinking you have far more exotic animals than you really do. I just love painting. That's why I want to do this. Mm-hmm, Salvador. Look at that face. That is a shady face. Um, let's go ahead. For sake of just trying it out, let's go ahead and accept it. So see, this is where the morality comes into play. Your choice matters. The morality choices you make will impact the building and actions you can use and may be reflected in certain people's behavior. Choose wisely. So look at how like cold and industrial this looks and look at how like nice and sweet and wholesome this one looks. This I think will be the one that I wanna go for in the full release. But for now, uh, just to kind of test it out, now we have uh, Salvador should be on his way sometime soon. Uh, to paint our horse into a zebra. But look, now we got a pig too. <laughs> so we're gonna have a pig and a zebra as best friends or a, you know, zebra with air quotes around it. So let's see if we can fool our guests. Uh, okay, our snake's almost here. Let's go ahead and check. I know I keep checking this, but I wanna see if there's any more animals up for, uh, up for rescue is what it calls it, or up for adoption. Then we can see about bringing more in. Look, snakes! This person has a new task for you. What task? Have 25 animals. Quite a lot of animals there. Let's go ahead and add an object here. Give them some enrichment. You need a ball. Great. Let's see. Can the snakes use a trampoline? Are you going to use it? Oh, <laughs> look, at, look at the snake. <laughs> go on the trampoline. Look at you go. Let's give you some water. We're going to have to... We're gonna have to move our little water thing again because it doesn't doesn't quite reach, but I think, oh, well, now I know what side of the team you play for. I can start offering you better deals. No, we don't play for your team. We were just curious. <laughs> Painting that horse to look like a zebra was a wise choice. Uh, why pay for exotic animals when you can make your own? Unless you're buying them from me, of course. Yeah, I know, it was a, it was a moment of weakness. Don't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't buy, uh, I shouldn't paint animals, it's bad, it's a bad thing. All right, so there we go. No, now we have snake. Can't we take one snake and get wolves? Wasn't that the deal? <gasps> What's this? A pig? Let's go ahead and rescue the pig. That way we can um, we can put the pig in here and maybe we can get baby pigs. But let's go back over here. Wasn't there up here? No, this one? Yes, two snakes for two wolves, great. Sorry snakes, I know you guys weren't in the zoo for very long, but we uh we need wolves there we go let's go ahead and return to the zoo and put the wolves in there perfect moving up in the world big ticket items oh look he painted our zebra or he painted our horse into a zebra <laughs> slow down a bit look at that oh we're bad people painting animals this zoo is not watering their animals what do you mean water 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 you sir are just not paying attention enough. We have seven more research points. Okay, let's go and see what we can do. Let's go this way here for potted plants. What else does that unlock? 
Unlock some benches, unlock some more signs. What's this? Lights? All right, let's go ahead and do lights. Okay, it ends there. So it looks like this is probably gonna be it for research as far as the beta is concerned, is this this square here. Uh, tall fountain, what about the peacock? Oh man, we needed six points. I forgot about the peacock bush. Oh well, let's go ahead and do Paul, tall pine trees because we want to eventually do everything, right? And then some restrooms. Ooh, toilets would be important. I didn't realize we didn't have any toilets yet. Let's go ahead and put some toilets down for the guests. Do uh, you think they'd be in here? No. No. E brick brick wall toilet. Here we go. Let's go ahead and add brick wall toilet there and maybe one over here. That way, that way our guests can go to the bathroom. Can you change the appearance of these? No, you can just move or destroy them. Well, cool. So we have we have some toilets for our guests. I wonder what this is going to be. This little tab. So far we don't have anything, but it looks like some other animal things maybe. Uh, oh, we did have a restroom. We just unlocked a different... Or maybe we unlocked this... I like this restroom better. Let's do this restroom. Let's go over here and over here. And then let's go ahead and just get rid of these. Destroy. I don't really care if it costs us more money. These ones fit our aesthetic a little bit better. Let's go ahead and destroy and move. I like that you can move things after you place it down. It makes me very happy. <laughs> makes me feel like we don't have to uh, worry about making, you know really bad mistakes and then not being able to go back on it. Let's go ahead and put some decking down so that the restrooms are on a uh, pathing surface there and they're not just on dirt. There, 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 and there. Great. Awesome. Perfect. All right. What I do really want is like some fencing. <gasps> End of week summary. All right. Current health money. Great. Salary payments. Awesome. All right. We're doing okay. I think we're doing pretty good. Saving game, awesome. Let's see, let's go ahead and speed up time because right now we are waiting on our wolves and I wanna see, let's check and see. Oops, that was the wrong button. Let's see if there was some animals added. Nope, no new animals added yet. So I'm gonna speed up time, I'll meet you in just a second. All right, so we got genome donation. Let's splice the zoo. <laughs> the Monsanto company has asked me to donate some of their research to you. We have been mapping genomes of different animals for the last decade, and now with the discovery of CRISPR, it is possible for you to create animals by literally editing their DNA. We are donating the blueprints for a CRISPR splicing facility and a pair of genomes of your choosing. <gasps> Do we choose? rabbit and hippo so pick the rabbit and hippo for a tiny big result and a rabbit and snake to create a reptilian mammal i honestly i honestly want to see this one how funny do you think it would be a hippo body with a rabbit head or a rabbit body with a hippo head let's go ahead and do that one look at that <laughs> giraffe elephant and a like a deer flamingo <laughs> that's so funny Okay, there we go. Gene, new task, build the CRISPR splicer. You got it, Gene. Um, how do we do that? Let's go ahead and go here. Oh, that's what this tab is. Okay, CRISPR splicer. Uh, it doesn't fit there? My goodness, it's a rather large facility. Let's go ahead and put it, uh, let's go ahead and put it right there. Hire, Alexander is going to be splicing our animals for us. <gasps> our wolves are here. Yay! Our wolves are here! How cute! Do we have any other baby animals? We do! Look, we have two little baby rabbits. <gasps> and we got a baby capybara! Look, it's it's right there. Look how cute it is! And it's a gray one! Cute! And then our pig came in. I think I missed that one too. Cool! Okay, so let's go ahead and see. Let's get out of this. What can we do in here? CRISPR. Select a DNA pair. So rabbit and hippo. I can do it without having the hippo? Oh, I can. Cool. Okay, so in four days, we are gonna have ourselves a rather odd looking, uh, odd looking spliced animal. I'm so excited. Okay, let's put down some of this here so that we can have it not all be dirt. Keep the zoo look nice and pretty. Great, awesome. All right, back. 
Beautiful. Okay, look at how we are going. We are doing pretty good. That was not the button I wanted to press. I want to check the animals again. <gasps> okay, nothing there. Nothing. Oh, three. <gasps> look, we can, but that would be all of our capybaras, so I don't want to do that just yet. Okay, nothing there. I don't think anything here. No. Let's go ahead and see. Nothing there and nothing there. So the only trade thing that we have is this one for capybara with the hippos. Uh, and then if this one goes green, there'll be some more animal shelter, animal rescues. Perfect. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to speed it up again just a bit. I want to get to this spliced animal so that we can all see that. And then we might leave it there as just this one little first look. So I'm going to speed it up real quick. And then we'll come back when we have our spliced animal. All right, so we have one more day until our CRISPR is done, but wanted to come back in here because we have some research points and an alpaca. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put our alpaca. We'll put our alpaca in. Let's put our alpaca in here. And then we need to make a new enclosure for our monstrosity that we are creating. So let's go ahead and do research first. Research. And I'm pretty sure, so this one is unlock one more tech pack to increase capacity for one more researcher. Cool. Let's go ahead and put that. What is this one? Tall fountain. Um, oh, that one was quite expensive. Goodness. Okay. Well, then we can do this right here. Get some more benches. And <gasps> what's this one? Oh, a zoo sign. Cool. Okay. Well, we don't really have uh, any more points for that. A balloon shop. Cool. Okay. Uh, now we need to build a... Uh, enclosure for our hippo rabbit rabbit hippo whatever it's going to be called I guess let's go ahead and put it down here uh, this area looks just fine for it let's go ahead and put the little gate right there and then we need to make sure that it's all set up with water here oh, it's out of reach dang it Let's go ahead and see if we can add another little water thing. I think that might be um, might be the best course of action here. Enrichment, of course we wanna see our little monstrosity jump on a trampoline, cause that would be fantastic. Let's go figure out um, water. Doesn't look like that is, are we not able to extend the, water we might just have to move it again i guess all right well let's just move it again let's see if we move it to like here oh yes it just reaches that's perfect okay awesome so we can get rid of that one day till we have an alpaca one day till we have our uh habit rippo <laughs> what do you think it's gonna be called i have no idea i have no idea what it's gonna be called um, but yeah, so far this game is pretty cute. I'm actually having a ton of fun playing it. Again, it is still in beta, um, but if you are interested, if it looks like something that you do want to play, head over to the Steam Workshop and waitlist it, because I know that really helps them out. Um, and I will definitely be coming back to this at full release, because um, I'm, I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. So um, it's been, it's been a, a lot of fun just kind of playing with it in the beta that it is so far. Um, and I can't wait to see, you know, what else comes to the game and play out the morality just a little bit but for now while we're waiting let's go ahead and add some uh just some like grass and stuff back here so it looks a little bit prettier little area of green maybe a tree can we put a tree there no we can't no we can't bummer um potted plant yeah we can add a potted plant cool yeah and so then we could just we could spend some time detailing out stuff like this uh, adding some trees here and there so our zoo doesn't look so concrete and uh, uh, plain, right? Um, let's go ahead and add some dirt up there because right now it looks like the uh, looks like the tree is growing out of the um, the what is this called? Brick. <laughs> we don't want that. And in fact, actually, let's go ahead. We can let's destroy these and we can add a tree right there. I think. Let's go ahead and get back up here for a tree. Make it look nice and pretty. Oh, we can't. It doesn't fit. Bummer. Okay, well, let's just add these little plants then. There we go. Perfect. Is this done yet? Let's go ahead and speed this up. <gasps> it's day four. Let's see. Is it done? Is it done? Is it done? Is it done? Zero days. Oh, joined the dark side. Well, now that I have... 
Now that I know what side of the team you play for, I can start offering you better deals. Painting that horse to look like a zebra was a, a wise choice. Why pay for exotic animals when you can make your own? Unless you're buying them from me, of course. Didn't we already read that? Go away, Joe. I'm not interested in, in what you have to offer me right now. I am making a ripo. And that is what I want to see. Manage. Zero days. The animal will be ready today. When? I want it now. <laughs> I want it now. I'm incredibly impatient. Oh no, our alpaca doesn't have any water. Water for the alpaca. Beautiful. There we go. And add objects. Let's give... Oh, we don't have shelters. That's a bummer. Um, enrichment. Let's go ahead and give you a trampoline because everybody wants to see an alpaca jump on a trampoline. Let's see. Is there any more animals here? Just a rabbit. We already have a bunch of rabbits. Oh my gosh, we have a bunch of rabbits. <laughs> we have three babies in there. Four babies in there. We have three adults and four babies. I wonder if at one point they say it's too small. Because right now, I don't believe you're able to look at like the size requirements and things like that. And then of course, there's only one, um, one option for enclosures right now is the grass one. <gasps> is it ready? Is it ready? Is it ready? Is it ready? Yes? Yes? Collect! Oh my gosh, look at that. It's a hippo with a rabbit head. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put it down here. Great. It's going to go on the trampoline. <laughs> look at that. What the heck is it called? A, a hippoite. <laughs> a hippoite. I was not going to uh, uh, guess that one. All right. Well, our hippoite here uh, is going to eat hay, apparently. And it's not too incredibly happy and it's not too incredibly healthy. That's a bummer. Contracept Ooh, contraceptives. We can put contraceptives on our animals. I didn't know that. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to leave this part here. Let me know what you think about this little game. I think it's quite cute. I can't wait to see uh, what else they add to it. I'll be happy to come back to it on full release here now that we have our, our hippoite. Our beautiful monstrosity. <laughs> I think that's a good note to end on. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed. If you want to see more, subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future content. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!